Hold, hold, hold. With the number of launches that we expect to see this year, there might be a growing problem for SpaceX. Recently, a cruise ship was the reason for a SpaceX launch being scrubbed as it entered the hazard zone. And this isn't the first time something like that has happened. Back on June 29th of last year, a private helicopter flew into the restricted airspace near Cape Canaveral just moments before the scheduled liftoff of a Falcon 9 rocket. About 20 seconds away from liftoff. LD, this is RCN. Countdown range is no go. Repeat range is no go. Hold, hold, hold. And we did hear the call to hold. Give us a second, we're gonna check in with the teams and see if we can get some more information for you. The countdown hold due to a failed range. Musk tweeted about this saying the keep out zone for launches is unreasonably gigantic and called for updated regulations. The FAA clears commercial and private aircraft from safety zones around rocket launches. For missions departing from Cape Canaveral, the U.S. Space Force also plays a role in ensuring public safety. That launch was scrubbed with less than a minute till liftoff. And that was back in June of last year. Same story with this one. It was scrubbed just 33 seconds before liftoff. And Elon elaborated about this on Twitter saying, quote, there is simply no way humanity can become a spacefaring civilization without major regulatory reform. The current regulatory system is broken. So that was last summer. And here we are again, having the same problem. And this one was especially frustrating because that launch had been delayed a couple times due to bad weather. And then that cruise ship made things even worse. And keep in mind, there is a window for these launches, and that is in part due to the temperature sensitive propellants. And according to that article from June of last year, the FAA is reportedly working on revising procedures so that they can clear the area for these launches. Regulators want to better integrate spaceflight operations into the national airspace system, which the FAA says that will lead to fewer flights being rerouted or delayed by rocket launches. On Sunday, January 30th, SpaceX had been hoping to send an Italian surveillance satellite into orbit for the past few days, but that launch was delayed again by a cruise ship that went into that hazard area. With just over 30 seconds to go before the rocket was set to lift off, the company's launch director put a stop to it. Hold, hold, hold. Boarding the launch auto. Launch director calling a hold. We have a red range for a filed range with a ship in the hazard area. Keep in mind, notices are sent around to all mariners in advance of launches from Cape Canaveral so that they know where and when to avoid the waters. So they should have had a clue. You can see in this tweet, SpaceX tweeted standing down from today's launch of Cosmos SkyMed second generation FM2 due to a ship in the hazard area. Team is setting up for next opportunity tomorrow, January 31st. And that happened. They did launch on Monday, and here's some video to prove it. And liftoff in Boca El Lupo. Go Falcon, go Cosmo. According to an article from Florida Today, Port Canaveral and the Coast Guard have confirmed that ship that violated Sunday's launch hazard area was Harmony of the Seas, that's a Royal Caribbean vessel, and an investigation is underway. So I feel like with the cadence ramping up this year for SpaceX launches, this probably will continue to be a problem. Again, this isn't the first time we've seen this. And Elon has stressed how important it is to avoid situations like these. He really thinks that it's going to delay us and hold us back from getting to Mars. He tweeted last year that the FAA space division, quote, has a fundamentally broken regulatory structure. This was after regulators did not approve SpaceX's planned launch of a Starship test rocket from South Texas. He said their rules are meant for a handful of expendable launches per year from a few government facilities. Under those rules, humanity will never go to Mars. So what do you guys think should be done to correct this issue? As you heard from Elon, he thinks that that hazard zone is unreasonably gigantic. So maybe that's not the issue, but I would like to hear your thoughts on this. I'm not sure if the FAA is actually working on revising those procedures so that they can streamline clearing the area for these launches, but this was obviously just 
someone not paying attention or something. Again, the investigation is ongoing, but of course it's a bummer, especially when weather already delays the launch and then to have something that should have been preventable. So there's just a little update for you. Love to hear your guys' thoughts. And I am working on my interview with Scott Manley. So we're in Scott Manley's studio. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It went so well, it was so cool to see him and visit Northern California for a quick little weekend trip. I will likely be dropping that entire interview with him this weekend, so you won't wanna miss it. I hope that you guys enjoy that video. Again, I wanna thank my Patreon subscribers for supporting the channel. Your support means so much and I have a lot of great stuff planned. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please make sure to hit subscribe so that you don't miss any of it. All right, I'll talk to you soon.